Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Healthspan. Today, we'll provide a quick update on our epigenetic age from our latest result. We have started a series of monthly tests for the next six months, starting in June this year. We think it will be very interesting to see whether adding a new lifestyle or supplement will change our epigenetic age within a month. We will report each month what we think contributed to our epigenetic age change, whether it is good or bad. This video covers our second test. I took my first biological age test in 2019 when I was 58. The result was 50. Since then, I have taken some further tests, though there was a period where COVID made it difficult and I was not taking them regularly. The last one of these was in December last year when my biological age was 47.09. This June, I took the first test for six months, which showed a biological age of 46.69. This is the first of the tests that I intend to take monthly and will act as a baseline. At the beginning of July, I took the second test in which I had a biological age of 46.12, so a six months decrease from the previous month. Looking at the age difference between biological and chronological age, this is my best result yet at minus 15 years. It is, of course, just a single result, but it is going in the right direction, and it will be interesting to see if the trend continues in future months. In terms of pinpointing what has produced this effect, the major change that we did in June was that we started regularly walking for 8 to 10k every morning. I've also continued to take my supplements such as NMN and CAAKG. I just released a video with my updated supplement list. Please find the link above. Here is the age different graph for Mrs. Modern. Originally, she was doing quite well with a biological age 10 years less than her chronological age. But since then, she has had quite serious allergy issues and the biological age came much closer to a chronological age and went above it for a while until in June it was 1.7 years older than her chronological age. The allergies were quite bad and seemed to affect her no matter what she ate, so we had a Nordic food panel IgG test done. As these foods should not trigger an immune response, there should not be any antibodies. Since then, we have tried to steer clear of the foods identified in the tests, such as soy, gluten, wheat and dairy. Because of these allergies at various times, she has also stopped taking most of the supplements as she was unsure if any of these were adding to the response. And in her last test from July, she has significantly reversed her biological age back to now less than her chronological age. Mrs. Modern has been joining me on the morning walks and in fact does them more than I do as sometimes I have conflicting work commitments. Interestingly, during June, Mrs. Modern also started taking a probiotic, Lactobacillus plantarum, which is the same probiotic that Dr. Fitzgerald used in her trial that showed a reduction of biological age of 3.23 years in eight weeks. Our epigenetic age tests are from HK Epitherapeutics, who provide worldwide availability for their service. One interesting point that Dr. Cheshivli, their chief innovation officer, made in a reply to a comment was that different epigenetic clocks may give you slightly different results. For evidence of this, see our recent talk with Chris Mirabal of Novos Labs. But what is important is the trend seen with one clock. So this is what we will be watching over the next four months. One last thing I would like to touch on. Back in February, we started to use NAC or N-acetylcarnosine eye drops to see if they would help with our presbyopia. This product is not available on Amazon anymore. I tried to order directly from FSL, but the order never arrived and I stopped when my supply ran out. I did check my eyes today using this online form. They are still at the 2040 level. But unfortunately, I was unable to complete the trial without the supply of NAC. With that, I would like to thank you for your attention, and I will update you again on the results next month. Sleep and stress management are vital for longevity. And my wife and I have been looking for ways to improve our sleep quality. After doing our research, we realized that magnesium is the key. Magnesium is a crucial mineral in hundreds of reactions in our body. And it has an impact on everything from metabolism to sleep, to energy, even bone and muscle health. It also has a role to play in stress response. So deficiency in this basic nutrient leads to bad sleep quality, low energy, 
accumulating stress and impacts our overall health. There are also different forms of magnesium, and it's difficult to get all of it in your diet. Three months ago, we started trying a magnesium supplement from Bioptimizers. Their magnesium breakthroughs formulation has seven different forms of magnesium, all of which have a different function in the body. For myself, I really noticed the difference. I frequently get jumpy legs at night, but with magnesium breakthrough, I'm not disturbed by my jumpy legs and I get a better, deeper sleep. We're happy to tell you that Bioptimizers is offering a 10% discount for this special magnesium formula to our audience. Just go to www.magnesiumbreakthrough.com slash modern or click on the link in the description and use the coupon code modern10 for a 10% discount. Thank you so much for your support as always. Mm -hmm.